Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. It's officially winning time in the NFL. In today's wild card matchup, victory is the only option for these two teams. It's the Dolphins going up against the Broncos. Larry, we are at the foot of the Rockies as EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the picturesque city of Denver, Colorado. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an AFC wild card matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Denver Broncos. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Try and start this drive in the air. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. to throw now on second and ten and he comes back with one complete and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 a Miami first down on the 14 yard pickup throw now on first down firing quickly here and that's complete and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down they get 10 more there and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will from the midfield strike they'll look to throw he's going to flip that out to the flat it's complete and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. The Broncos say they have it. They do. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. And he'll give it here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. We'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the six. Twelve more yards there and another first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Switch it up here and look to throw. Flush. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. It's their quarterback. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. 
Now the extra point. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And out come the Dolphins now. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? 23 yards on the play. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. They'll look to throw here on first down. This throw is going to be incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. And on second and ten now. They'll set up a throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads. Took him right off his feet. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Back to throw here. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Stopped up quickly here at the 38. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. It'll be a gain of six, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Just shy of the 10. A good pick up there of 20 yards. In the red zone this time. Back to throw now on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. They worked out for six.
So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Now give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit him over the top. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends it. The screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. They'll set up to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Now 
Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A good pick up there of 20 yards. to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. So the Broncos coming out now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, a little closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. Hey, he's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. running back. Oh, and now he bowls him over and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. They'll look to throw here. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A gain of 32 that time. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after him. Put the pressure on him. And his throw is incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Green, 39. Green, 39. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. 
And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance and they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone in this compressed area of the field that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. And his kick is indeed good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So a good kick that time, and he's able to redeem himself from the previous miss. And fortunately for him, he got the chance to do that not long after missing the first time. Sometimes a whole game goes by, and you don't get that chance at all. So you keep it with you till the next time you take the field. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. this one deep right side and both guys were there but it falls incomplete the secondary has been roasted in this first half but they get a measure of revenge there nice play on the deep ball yeah they're gonna need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back but that's one step in the proper direction And the Broncos go to a nickel set on third down. Yeah, they've got an extra DB out there. Looking to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Now back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. side here complete and now prior to this third and one we're going to get a timeout here as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one the Dolphins on third down a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going they need just a yard here it's third and one He'll drop to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Sack him back right around the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout.
So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. This has neither the distance nor the accuracy. It's no good. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you on down to our studios in Orlando, where standing by is Larry Ridley with our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Spinning away. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. No gain on the play there. Second down. one up to the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now a handoff as they run left side. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now let's go. Three, five. Flushed out right. Looking right sideline. That's complete. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 30-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So the D-line's going to spread out. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive, but they'll be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Flush to his right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. 
Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year, and our score will stay right where it is. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a less than desirable return as he's out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right. He's got a man complete. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So here we go, first and 10 now. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. And the slot man goes in motion left. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Well, still in search of the first down after that last completion. Side, it's complete. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. A tough run, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Seven yard line. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and it can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Yeah, 140. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep middle. And this is caught inside the five. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. shift together here from the D-line. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. He can muster only a yard there and they'll be left with a third and very short. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A big play there on third down for the Broncos. 46 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. 
on the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They come out here in the eye. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. It's the fullback. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result. Usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. They'll try to run it here. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 39. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. going to be stopped dead in his tracks 23 yards on the play tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw i think he looks at it as i can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me i'm gonna keep firing and he'll lose yardage here back at the 41 the loss of a full three yards and now it's second down and yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Exactly what they were looking for. They've been giving up yards. They've been letting them drive right downfield, but they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? The Dolphins on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect six for six. This is third and ten. 
back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Denver getting set to take the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Here we go now. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he finds a man with a crossing route. That one goes for 24 yards. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Here we go now. Back to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And shedding the tackle and now some room. He takes it across for the touchdown and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now, can they preserve that advantage that they just got? So they're going to go for two. They'll set up a throw. Flushed out right. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock, so Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, look at that, Chuck. A rookie picked the rookie on that play. How about that? Is that rookie on rookie crime? <laughs> but you know what happens, too. If you're a rookie defender, you tend to adjust to the game a little bit quicker than if you're a quarterback. Too many things still going through his mind. And on that play, the rookie defender won the battle. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages.
Second down following the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. There he goes inside the 30. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. And a disappointing way to close out the season. He got into the playoffs but couldn't really make any noise. Still a good season. Some might call it a great season when they get away from it a little bit. But they also will all look at their own errors, their own mistakes, and wonder how they could have played a little bit better. So if they get in this position again, they'll be ready to win.